Hi, and thanks for joining me today. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I want to show you the card that I made for the Simple Sweet Stampers Tutorial Bundle. Every month I participate with um, 11 other demonstrators, and we feature a suite, and then we each create a project, and we bundle it up. And um, we, I, set, I give it to people who order from me, any, any amount of order, or you can purchase this on my blog, bspapercrafts.com. So this is my card. I think it's so cute. I love that bear. And then on the inside, I just have some paper. Uh, this is the Happier Than Happy stamp set. And then there's coordinating dies. It cuts out the bear and the fox and the tree. There's a whole bunch. I didn't really use those. I use the um, layering diorama to get this great kind of... Uh, edge around it. Isn't that pretty? So here's the paper. I love the paper in this suite. It's just beautiful. Uh, it's fun. There's uh, lots you can do. You can just use those where you can kind of build a scene with some of these. Pretty cool. So you can find this suite. This is from the annual catalog and it's on page 46 and 47. So these are all the products, the colors, and we try to stick with these colors. Um, excuse my voice, I have a bad cough, so I'm hoping to hold it together for this video. Uh, so we actually, when we do a suite or feature a suite, we go from one suite to the next. So people could choose these other products and then um, eventually we get to the next suite. So all of this is kind of included when we get to the Abigail Rose, that's uh, the end of this suite. So let's get started and make our card. Let me put this away and we'll leave the card out. I'm going to use those dies. So this is the tutorial. This is kind of a snapshot of all the projects that will be included, plus the uh, suite itself. This is the color combo. These are our designers. So these are all the people. That's me. And then each page or each project will have a page like this, a picture measurements and instructions so you can just follow along and do uh, what's in here and you'll have 12 projects so let's actually leave this one out on the side and put this down now the first thing i want to do is get my card pieces and i have an early espresso card base okay and then i cut a piece of the designer series paper uh four and a quarter by five and a half, so it covers the whole thing. And this is what we're gonna use um, to cut out our, I'm trying to see which side is up, I guess it doesn't matter. Cut our um, piece here. So we're gonna get the diorama, uh, layering diorama dies, and we're gonna use the third from the largest, one, two, three. And this is so much fun, I really love it. And we're going to cut that piece out. Now you can use this piece inside for other things. So let's get this aside and get my, I called it the big shot last time. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking here. That's the old name. Um, but this is the uh, Stampin' Up, the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I mean, the big shot works too. Um, so let's put this down and run this through. My uh, plates are getting warped, but I like to go as long as I can with them. And we'll just go right through. Okay, so now we have our layer. So again, you may use that for something, cut it up or something. And then we wanna get a piece of early espresso. Now this is um, five and a, or four by five and a quarter. So it's kind of an inside layer. So we're gonna use the third and then the fourth from largest. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Oh, the second from largest, sorry. <laughs> we wanna go outside of this. So we're gonna just lie this right together and try to really make it even as much as you can. I guess I could have had my uh, piece a little bit bigger. 
it seems like we're really going end to end here. And then put the layer, the uh, plate on top, and we'll run this through. And what this is going to do is create the uh, kind of the border around this. It's a great way to do it. You can do it with circles, you can do it with squares, ovals, whatever you want to do. You just get the two, um, two uh, layers that would go together the best, the closest. Okay, so now we have our card, and now we have our layer. Okay, so let's put this down with a little bit of liquid glue. And I like the liquid glue because it will let you just get it, move it around a little bit. And we just want a little bit right around the whole ridge. And if you get some on the outside, it's okay. It dries clear, and if it's a little sticky, you can use a gum eraser to remove it, but it's fine. So let's get this off of there, because I don't want to get glue on that piece. And we want to try to line it up as best we can. You might have to maneuver it a little bit. It will fit. Just have to be patient. Oops. Okay. No, ace. <clears throat> so now we have our uh, layer. So now we want to get our white piece. So this is a four by five and a quarter, and we're gonna stamp our bear. That's the first thing we wanna stamp. And I'm actually gonna put this over to stamp the bear, and then we could fill in as we need. Now, before we get any further, I just wanna, when I was looking over this, I made a mistake here. This evening evergreen, cross that out. That is from last month. So you don't need that. I was looking at it saying, what, where did I use that? So I just made a mistake in that. You just need the early espresso basic white and then the designer series paper. Okay, so we're going to get our early espresso ink. Let's just cover this up. And ink up this cute bear. He just seems like he's walking through the forest saying hello. Let me get a piece of scrap. Just want to make sure I have them inked up good. There you go. And it's, you try not to stamp when you've got the paper around it, but I think we're far enough away from it. Normally I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, so now we've got our bear. And then I want to do the, um, the hello. So let me get that stamp out. I thought I had it mounted, but I didn't. So it says, hello baby but I don't want hello baby I just want hello so what I'm going to do is you can either color this with a stamp and write mark or making sure you don't get the comma or the baby or you can use a piece of post-it tape or post-it note it's a little bit tight because that comma is there okay so I'm just going to cover the comma and the baby stamp it Take that off and throw that away. And now we want to do the hello. Hello. There we go. So now we want to do some of the dirt. And the way I did this was I kind of moved this piece back and forth, back and forth to figure out where I wanted pieces. So the dirt, let me just take this off. I had needed to use that for the hello baby. We're just going to kind of come around and I stamped it and stamped it again and stamped it and you just want to fill it in. And I probably shouldn't be on this, huh? <laughs> I should be on this. So let's see how this looks. So now we have this little area down there that we need to fill in. So I just went back and forth. And it really, you know, it doesn't matter 
how many times you stamp it off, how many times you stamp it direct. So now you've got this ground that he's walking on. And I did the same thing with the trees, kind of went back and forth and I have mossy meadow and I have my tree. So, and you don't have to even add the trees if you don't want to, but I'm gonna add one right here and up here, probably won't even see them, there and there. Okay, and then we can add some butterflies. Now the butterflies, I'm using Calypso Coral. And the reason I chose this is it's in some of the berries here. So I'm trying to look to see if it's the right size. So I just did three of them. Okay, so that's the card pretty easy. So now I want to uh, raise it up. So you can either use dimensionals. I ended up using the foam adhesive sheets, one of my favorite tools. Um, so you get, I think you get six of them. And it's just like a big, huge uh, dimensional. But it just gives you like very sturdy, it's, it's strong. And I think it works good for something like this. So I'm going to just cut up some pieces. And this is a uh, double-sided. I don't know why I'm not removing it here. And just kind of, let's cut up this whole thing. Lay pieces down. And if they're too big, you cut them smaller. And I think it just gives it a little bit more, um, I don't know, stability. Do you need stability on a card? You need it in your life, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I am trying not to cough here. Okay. And we'll just keep cutting these pieces, taking off the back. Did I take off the back on that? I did. And I think I need a few more. You can, of course, use dimensionals. You can also just put it down flat, but I feel like you kind of lose something if you put it down flat. I feel like this needs to be raised. Um, I'm gonna cut this down a little bit more. Put that there. And you could put as much or as little of this as you want. I really want it to make it strong. I did a, a card like this, but I used the whale <clears throat> and I uh, made it a shaker card. So I used these. I actually used the, uh, the adhesive strips, which are long skinny pieces that help, um, help you kind of go around. So you can look for that on my blog. It's the uh, whale done set. Let me just cut this. Now I have this piece left over. And I'll just put it on here and put that aside. Okay, so let's put all that aside. Now we have to take off the backs. Okay, so the thing with this is you really want to make sure you have it right where you want it before you put it down because once you put it down, it's hard to remove it. Now there are some, some pieces here that are sticking out the side, but that's fine because we're gonna just put some glue on it and adhere it to the card base. So that'll just give it a little extra. And if this is crooked, as long as it's not hanging out the side, that's fine. Okay. Now we want to make sure this is opening the correct way. And this is going to go right across end to end. The whole card is going to be covered with this. Isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. Now you could put baby under here um, if you wanted to cover the hello and do baby. Um, I just, I didn't really know who I'm going to send it to. So on the inside, I just put a little strip of paper and a butterfly, 
Not sure who or why I'll send it out. So a lot of times I don't put a sentiment on the inside. So let's get um, the strip of paper and we'll just put this on with a little glue. I'm proud of myself. I'm not having a coughing fit yet. There's still time, I guess. And then we'll do one more butterfly. A lot of times when I'm not sure what to put on the inside, I use the designer series paper. It just carries over kind of the idea of the card. Here we go. Probably should have stamped first in case I made a mistake, but we're good. And then I want to use my stamp and seal for the inside. I feel like this is really a little bit off. I think it's okay though. Let's see how it looks on the inside. I might have to cut off the back. Is it too long? I think it's okay. It's a little crooked, but I think it's fine. Okay, so this is my card. Um, again, if you want to uh, get this, you can either go to my blog, pspapercraft.com, and you can purchase it there, or if you order from my online store, which is also on my blog, and there's also links below here for both of these things, I'll send it to you for free. All right, thank you so much, and come back for another card another day. All right, take care. Bye.